is time now for She Made It. And this morning, Jill Martin has the story of a beauty mogul who really started from nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally from nothing. Hi, everybody. Hi, Good morning. morning. Well, Maureen Kelly had no industry experience, no business experience, maxed out her credit cards, and employed friends to help package products by paying them in pizza. Mm -hmm. But after watching this story, you'll see how the driving force behind all of her success was herself. I had so many people tell me no along the way. And don't get me wrong, there were moments when I was definitely on my knees praying, but I made it. Maureen Kelly is the founder and CEO of the best-selling beauty brand, Tarte. And just like she says, she made it by being creative and scrappy. You've always been interested in makeup and beauty, right? Always, always, always. Since I was a little girl, I would take like red chalk into the bathtub and mix it with like shaving cream. And as I got older, I would make lip balms and bath bombs and things like that for friends and gift them. In 1999, at 23 years old, Maureen turned her one bedroom New York City apartment into a test kitchen, mixing all natural ingredients for products like her cheek stain. You have a degree in clinical psychology, no business degree, no beauty school. What gave you the guts and the idea that you could actually do this? I I'm not honestly sure. Even though I was whipping up things in my house, I needed to make many more of them. And so I opened up the good old yellow pages and started looking for labs and chemists. And of course, no one really picked up the phone. So then I drove there. You know, you fake it till you make it. And I convinced a lab to work with me. So how did you finance this at the beginning? I put it on credit cards. I had a credit card bill for $50,000 when all was said and done. And you know, when you don't really have any money in the bank, that's um, everything. That's everything. When I started calling Bergdorf's and Barney's and Bendel's, no one was calling me back. And then I started to really panic. Once again, Maureen took her fate into her own hands. I left a message for Henry Bendel's saying that Bergdorf's, a little bit of a white lie, saying that Bergdorf's was going to be signing us, but that I really wanted to launch in Bendel's and if they would please just let me show them the product, I knew that they would love it. And lo and behold, they called me back that day. Tarte officially hit shelves in Henry Bendel's in 2000 at a press breakfast. Magazines were at that press breakfast, and then I got into magazines. TikTok didn't exist, YouTube didn't exist, Facebook didn't exist. Magazines were the influencers of the day. And so it had stores across the country calling me to launch the product. Soon after, Maureen's mighty little company made Oprah's O-List and launched in Sephora, which has now carried the brand for two decades. Maureen credits her customers, who she calls Tartlets, for the strong foundation. We had a blog on Tart.com called Tart Talk because I wanted to hear from them. What are you liking? But also more importantly, what aren't you liking? I love them. They are how I am sitting here today and how Tart has grown and become what it is. In 2014, Tart was acquired by a parent company, Kose, allowing them to go global in stores across 23 countries worldwide. Do you look at what you've achieved and say, wow? This is a wow moment, right? The Oprah thing was a wow moment. There's lots of times in between, so much time in between. I never stop and feel like that, but I do feel very blessed. I feel very lucky. So, yeah. Oh, so with with tears in your eyes and now a flourishing bank account, what advice do you have for other entrepreneurs who feel like they have no money but this big idea and really want to do it? I say go for it. Follow your dreams. I wasn't a makeup artist. I had no business experience. Tarte almost went out of business three separate times because I couldn't make payroll, but I did it and you can do it too. Wow, I had no idea she struggled so much. My goodness, I, incredible. I literally use everything I, I know, you were saying, I use this, I use that, and Maureen is paying it forward through her Heart to Tart mm -hmm. nonprofit, as well as the Big Ego Scholarships. Now, she gives that to young girls because she says having a big ego not such a bad thing. Nope. You know what? Yeah. It is okay to pat ourselves Absolutely. on our back when something good happens. And make sure to tune in to another edition. I'm so jazzed. Our She Made It special that's all about pampering and getting ready for the holidays 
we'll be sharing updates from some of our favorite female founded brands like Barbie, which I just heard backstage Lindsay Vaughn is a fan of. What is this? And is that this? is a stress reliever. It's a blanket company. It's fabulous. Oh, um, we'll cool. talk about that. Damn, like, and Toki, which has a QR code card on it. And they're offering exclusive deals so you won't want to miss out. That's coming Ooh. up at 10 a.m. Eastern on our streaming channel today all day on Peacock That's or good. your smart TV. Okay. And I just wanted to highlight one more woman who is doing it and making it. Denise okay. Rich, I hosted Angel Ball oh. last night for her. She lost her daughter at 27 to leukemia, and they mm. continue to raise money. They raised $2.8 million oh last goodness. night. And so Eric and I went, and I emceed it. It was just a beautiful night. Shaka Khan. Shaka oh, Khan. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. I knew that was coming. It was okay. really a great night. So a lot of females to celebrate. Absolutely. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Jill. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.